Good day. The state television company of Western Armenia presents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast, meeting with the deputies of Western Armenia. The problem of drinking water in Bertash and village of Artsakh is being solved, but some problems are still unsolved. Due to the landslide in one, huge rock fragments blocked the road. David Babayan and Frank Palon discuss the situation in Artsakh. Turkey sent a second part of Bayraktars to Ukraine in a week. Culture in Western Armenia music. The melting snow on Mount Nararat is interpreted as the arrival of spring. Let's support the state television company of Western Armenia. The Western Armenia TV channel hosted citizens who arrived from occupied Western Armenia. Among them were deputies of Western Armenia, Mihran Parkic and Zahang Mutafian. President Armenak Abraman also participated in a conversation who took part in the discussion of the issues raised. Among the guests, activist writer published on Armenian issues, Dersim Mihran Parkic analyzed the work he has done related to the situation of Armenian people in Western Armenia, as well as a number of political and social issues. Member of Parliament Zahak Mutafian, referring to the Russian-Ukrainian conflict, said that we, as citizens of Western Armenia, maintain our neutrality on this issue and talk about the project that should be implemented in Western Armenia. The main direction of employment of the population of Bertashen community of Martin region of the Republic of Artsakh is agriculture, cattle breeding and farming. This was stated by the headman of Bertashen village, Armen Wabalan. The community has large wildlands and the residents cultivate these gardens. 588 hectares of winter crops were produced. There are a lot of people engaged in cattle breeding in the village, said Abalan. According to him, there are 1,233 residents in the community and they are firmly attached to their native land. After the war, six resettled families settled in the village. There are about 15 houses in the free housing fund. During the 44-day war, the village was subjected to intense shelling and a number of residential buildings suffered losses. Part of the entire community roads collapsed. We have a drinking water problem, the headman presented. In Bakhchisara province of one province of Western Armenia, huge rocks torn from the mountainside blocked the road due to the landslide. Fortunately, there were no vehicles on the road at the time of the incident. After the work, which lasted about two hours, the rock fragments were removed and the road is open to traffic. An online meeting was held between the Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of Artsakh, David Babayan, and the co-chairman of the U.S. Congressional Commission on Armenian Issues, Frank Palon. Issues related to the settlement of Azerbaijan-Artsakh conflict, the situation in Artsakh, work to eliminate the consequences of the war, the latest geopolitical development were discussed. David Babayan stressed the aggressive policy of Azerbaijan and Turkey is a serious threat to regional and global security, and if appropriate measures are not taken in due time, the consequences will be irreversible. The foreign minister expressed gratitude to the congressman Palon for his constant assistance to Artsakh, recognition of the genocide of Armenian people, and the fight against its denial assistance to solving various pan-Armenian issues. A heavy military transport plane of Ukrainian airline landed in the airport of Polish city Rezzo from the Turkish city of Tekirda. There is quite a lot of confidence that we are talking about a new batch of drones. This was broadcast in Avia Pro. They can be delivered to the territory of Ukraine from Poland already through transport, the Telegram channel said in a statement. A few days ago, Turkey made a statement that Ukraine was buying Bayraktar TB2 and named aerial vehicles from a private company. It should be noted that a few days ago another large batch of Turkish Bayraktar TB2 drones was delivered to the army forces of Ukraine. It should be recalled that during the 44-day Artsakh war, the same annual aerial vehicles were also supplied to criminal Azerbaijan. Western Armenia is an ancient country, rich in culture, the birthplace of world masterpieces. An excellent part of the culture is Armenian folk music, dating back to ancient times. Armenian musical culture is known all over the world thanks to Komitas, Aram Khachaturan, Sayat Nova and are the talented children of the Armenian people. And today, Armenian music wins hearts to the sounds of Armenian musical instrument Duduk. Armenian folk music has also a significant impact on the development of world musical culture. The snow of the icy area of the foot of Mount Ararat with a height of 5,137 meters covered with snow melted. The air temperature rose about 20 degrees and nature began to revive along the melting snow. Locals interpret the melting snow on Mount Ararat as the arrival of spring. 
Dear compatriots, the state television company of Western Armenia is not engaged in advertising. Our work is aimed at preserving and developing ties between the compatriots and the motherlands, and this historical stage we are all obliged to support our national demands in order to face together the challenges we face and achieve the establishment of our just rights, which unfortunately are ignored in modern international relations. Our struggle lasts a long time, but victory is unavoidable. Western Armenia hopes for your active support on this difficult path. Together we can do more. Now the musical part, Armenian folk song. <laughs> The full version of this video is available on Western Armenia's YouTube channel. This was all for today. Goodbye.